Hey guys, we wanted to show y'all um, the Ghost versus the Atomic in this episode. So it's gonna be some mixed footage. We're gonna have footage of the Ghost performing, which is a 177. And then we're also gonna have the Atomic XR that we normally use in a 22 cal. And we're gonna give you just a few thoughts on it. No full review, cause that's not what we do. But we will tell you a few thoughts on it and let you know what we're gonna do about it. Expecting an iguana to be right here on the right. It's a pretty small iguana. I'm not sure what the backstop looks like. I'm gonna try to take a shot on 10, which should be the lowest I've ever taken a shot. You can actually see it on this side. So, um, right here in our face. Let me get a little to the right so that we don't catch that yacht as a backstop. Probably just uh, around 10 yards. Ooh. <laughs> he likes the ghost. A Got lot. ghosted. <laughs> Let's go see if we can get him before he disappears, but not scare this other one. We don't have light working with this. Hey, is that an iguana in the grass? Right here in the grass, off. Ooh. Maybe. Let's check this out. Maybe, maybe not. Looks like I'm wondering to me, I'm gonna shot at him. So he's holding one above his head. He's probably a little over 12, 14 yards, and he's still flipping around. Got gotcha. you. Guys, we are headed back to the truck, and there's an iguana right here in the tree. Two of them. There's one on top of the frond on the right, and one in the center. See him? You going for the one on the right? I'm gonna go for the center one first and then we're gonna have to single load because the mag's empty. I'm holding a little above him. Hang on. Look at the claws. I caught him a little. You can see where it ricocheted off of the frond. Hang on. I was afraid to. Oh. That a water pill. <laughs> there he is right there. The lady just moved to the left. So I feel like I can take a shot going on um, that angle. Well, let's see what she, what she does. So the wind took him down. And I think you can see this iguana. So we can try to dislodge him and recover him. He should be right there. Our mailman friend. He's not in view right now, and that lady just got out of view. Let's try to take this shot real quick. That's what I was looking for. That was like a death wiggle. I bet he's dang
can't believe that other one didn't fall. He did like to buckle up. Look, his tail's sticking out right there on the right side. See the tail sticking out? I think he's buckled up sitting like curled Let's see up where his top. tail's at. Right here, you can see the shots right behind his eye. There's like a V, it's hard to see because the sun's shining at us, but you can see his head between a V and the uh, fronds. You can see the blood coming out. He's like lodged in there, there's no way he's coming out. We did recover these two, and we have a really big one out for water. So uh, we're gonna go see if we can pop that one in the water, but not waste too much time with it. We got a kid to pick up at school. Okay guys, we just spotted some iguanas while trying to walk back to the truck. So we're gonna try to take a couple shots on them. Only like 10 yards above us, so we're going to have about five over. Huh? <laughs> Straight like disrespect. Hang on, I ain't like that. Oh my goodness. Just Smack them upside the back of the head. That other one. Can you see it? I'm searching for it. The right side on top of the front? Yeah, yeah, actually, I do see it. Oh no. Whoa. So, I want to get a shot like that on the other one. Let's go around. Man, that's like Sandman action, but that's not the Sandman. God. Ghost action. Yeah. We had a third iguana over here who's really small, so we're gonna keep our eyes out. They're just starting to come out because the sun's coming out after a storm. This guy's raining blood on us. Let's see if it'll fall. He's dangling right here. Let me find that other one that we don't need. Okay, guys, we're gonna go. Ooh, slid him. Look at that action. Nice shot. First shot for the kill, second shot for the zombie. Got you iguana with the ghost. We got an iguana right here. We're gonna play with the ghost for a minute with him. We are shooting on max, I think, yeah. We're on max power here. We're all just above him. A little low. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh. Freaking suicide dive. Hopefully there's decking down there. And he's just landed on the deck. He ended up being like a three hold over his head. And I was about 12 yards away. Look, there he is. Got a little bit of spray on the ground. Got you iguana. Pulled out the ghost for a little bit of ghostly fun. <laughs> I did another iguana, y'all. The ghost is out to play. Okay. A little bit further shot. This guy's maybe uh, like 15 yards, maybe a little further. Moving just above it. Whoa, what a great off hand shot. That with that shot, I tried to hold just like it would skim the top of his head. So I think it still needs a little bit of a hold at that distance because there's so much power behind the uh, ghost in this one because I do have it on max power. We've shot this as low as six power and that seems to be closer to the low end on the atomic. So um, again, this is the 17. We hope to have the 22 soon. Hey guys, we just shot this iguana um, at this property. She's bright green with a little bit of blue on her because we just got her. I'm pretty sure she's full of eggs, 
She's a little bit bigger than the other one we cut open the other day, which was closer to 10 inches and contained 30 eggs. So um, we're guessing that this one's about 12 inches from snout to vent, vent being where the tail's cut off and uh, snout being her nose. She's probably about 12 inches. She's a decent size iguana here. So um, I would guess that this one has closer to 40 eggs in it, maybe even like 45. Remember they'll move when you cut this open if they're fresh dead. They're really hard to cut into. She even still has egg fat for making more eggs. You can see a little bit of fat still left there. And then eggs. Ooh. Look at that. So what we're trying to show is a correlation between when you get larger iguanas off of a property, you also get more eggs off the property because the bigger girls lay more eggs, of course. So look, they just keep coming like a clown. So we just spotted a big old green iguana tail right here. We don't know where his body is yet, but we're going to walk around and see if we can spot it. spot the body oh oh I see his eye oh my gosh you cannot see this iguana you want me to shoot it yeah please okay. I hit him he's shaking his head I have the Okay. He's doing the shake. <laughs> we got nice. him. Man, that ghost just spread Look at what it. she's shooting through. He's just a little sliver between the uh, fronds that I could see um, his head. He was it's peeking at us. He knew we were here long before we knew he was there. From so, here. I'm not going to get to recover him, but we'll still get the Great result. Shot. And it was definitely a good size iguana. They're getting a few holes here because it's egg season. It's egg season. He's right on top of the bush with his head barely per poking over. He looks like a leaf up there. I'm gonna do about a five hold. Whoa. Tail went up. He I think got we got Casper. him on that. We're still using the 17 cow ghost. And I was shooting only on a six power. Um, this seems to be a lot closer to what the atomic shoots on the lower levels when I shoot around a four and a six on the ghost. So you really have to dial it down. Wow. So um, we're looking forward to checking out the 22, but this 17 definitely throws those pellets yeah, quickly. Yeah, it packs a wallop. So, Stellar work. Put on our uh, safety and we're going to go check him out. She has a nest of eggs. She just doesn't have a male, so they're gonna be infertile. Oh wow, we can't go over there. She's gonna try to protect them. Look, she has like eight or six eggs. Can you see them? Yeah. Oh, she's she gonna waste buddy, her time man. on those eggs. We gotta find her a male. <laughs> they said they'd buy her, buy a male if all uh, we found one. I'm going to have to put more effort into that since she's trying to make little babies.
Ini mah. <laughs> We just got an iguana. Okay. That's the kiss of Christmas. Yeah. Did she? What? Ooh, look at that. <laughs> we did a double shot to the eye, so that's why it's a little catastrophic there. Look how full of eggs she is. You can see the eggs hanging in her belly. Got you and all your babies. This mom, freaking ready for a one a quarter. Oh! This tree on the left hand side with the cocoa saw at the bottom that splits and goes to the right, and there's a second split. He's walking up yeah, the left same. side of the split. More. Quicker than me. Pulled up here. There's oftentimes a lot of iguanas in these trees right here, and they sneak right over and eat all the flowers these people plant uh, at the entrance to their facility and uh, all the flowers they put on the median. Let's see if we can spot him. Yeah. Trying to go knock on the lady's door, we just keep seeing iguanas. This one's right here on the roof. There we go. Now we can go knock on the door and we'll let her know we've already gotten four iguanas. And got you iguana. <laughs> that boat's up off the water, so it's pretty safe. Man, it's just super deep here. We wouldn't be able to pick him up off the bottom here. See anything? Yeah. Yeah, he's down there. Looks like it. Going for the one that's walking to the left. Oh, I hit right above him. I feel like a doof. One on the left. Right there, gotta wait for them to pick up their head. Hang on. Hang on. If I take a shot from here, I lean on my barrel so we can creep up a little bit here. There's no pressure on the barrel. There's a little one creeping around behind him, too. Yeah, it's a white four Waiting coming. On traffic. It's a go. <laughs> that guy's like, what is going on? <laughs> Got him right in the head. The other one went to the bushes. Let's see if I can see movement. He went under those bushes, under that hedge line. I don't see him anymore. But we just took that one out. I'll take it. Got you a guana. I think that's the one that ran over the hedge I thought it had gone through. 
They didn't used to have a food field. So we can go on the other side though and get it. Same people own both properties. Stop. Oh, that's the that's the first oh, one. Oh no, 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 it's not. That's a different one. Dang it. This girl is so full of eggs, y'all. Like all this is eggs. Look at that. See the eggs sticking out? That is all eggs. Eggy girl there. I bet she has 50. And then our other guy flipped somewhere over here. I don't, know, I don't see him now. You saw it like took him? Going for that eye shot. High powers. JSB Hades. I'm waiting on the wind. He's not stopping. Not as big as I thought he was, but he's a good size of guan. Got you, about right here. Yeah. I guess 25, 30 yards. Oh, we're using uh, the JSB Hades. High power on the uh, Atomic XR. Oh, just lit him up. Oh, it looks like it's right under his eye. His tongue's out. I think he's dead. His head sure is high for being dead. I'm going to hit it again. You did exactly what you said you were going to do. You said you were going to hit it again. Hang on, hang on. I think the body's here on this. Let's see what it's looking like. You see it on the front, bright green? Yeah. Oh, it's laid out. Hit it around the shoulders and see what happens. And coming down. <laughs> Right here. Oh, she's smaller than I thought. What? Oh, look at that. We did a double shot to the eye, so that's why it's a little catastrophic there. And then double shot to the eye. Double shot to the eye. And then I hit her somewhere around the shoulder because she was facing me like this to try to make her fall down, and it worked. So, got you, Aguana. He's like 27 yards. Big fat girl. What? Ooh. Hey, on. Caught her closer to the jaw than I'd like. Oh my closer goodness. To the, the second one around. I think that one might have got her. We're going to go see. This stinking female has gotten away like three, four times. She runs before we can even take a shot normally, goes straight into a hole, and, and is gone. So let's go see if we got her. That was epic. Is that, where'd she come from? Well, she was in the gutter. Go barely over his head. Right in the eye. Look how full of eggs she is. You can see the eggs hanging in her belly. 
Got you and all your babies <laughs> and got you iguana. I'm so excited guys. It's officially iguana season. We're in April and they're just stinking everywhere today. We just left a property that had five. There's one right here on the dock. And we saw driving by. There he is. I gotta get a headshot on him. Right there, we're gonna borrow this car. from that iguana. What was that about, right? Here he is down here at the bottom. Look how clear our water here is in South Florida. It is just a blessing to be here. Bright green iguana. Did we catch an anemone too? No, oh, just leaves. Looks like she's full of eggs too. It's really cool the ones out by the water have a nice turquoise color to some of their stripes. Got you eggy iguana. What? Ooh, tucking. Look at that glitch. Look at the spray. Eye to eye. Seriously, oh, look, a final fish. A final fish. And they float like that on purpose on their side. Is that a final fish? No, no, no. Tara told me what that is. Somebody ID that fish for us. I see him out here a lot. It's an actual fish floating on top of the water. One eye. Other oh, eye. whoa. That, that's intense. He has, look, he's he's caught purple mouths eating purple flowers. Caught red handed. Purple handed. Purple, purple mouth. Purple mouth. Run. Oh, it's not there. It was a medium. Here it is. It's closer. It's at the mid, the mid rocks. We got a nice backstop from that bright, lit up rock. Get her low. Trust it. Now we can go grab her. It looks like she hit the water right there. I'm going to see if I can still grab her. Might be a net or something. Let me leave this here. You see the poop all over the rocks. Look at these giant dog sized poops. Here she is. I think I can reach her. Little bit, it's a little slippery. Grab her by the hand. Got you iguana. No more pooping. I just want to show you guys that this girl is not that big and she's full of eggs. You can see an egg outline here, here, and here. So even the smaller iguanas, this is not and not nearly as big as they get, that's for sure. And um, she's maybe a year and a half. I don't even think she's two, and she is full of eggs.
that was a uh, eyeball still seized up on that wall get him right off the cap look when in the eye and came out the top of his head Ooh. yeah he got mine bended <laughs> Move the low power right here. We'll put it actually on high power because I'm positive of where it's going to hit. Her eyes right up there. Let's see if I can see her. There she is. I got her. Oh, I think I got her good. Let me see if I can pull her out right here. I'm just afraid I'm going to scare others. I think we might be able to pick some off over here. Just going up right here. There we go. Let's see if we can swing her off. There she goes. She was peeking through at us. We don't allow peeking around here. Laid him down. Do this one up on the bridge, and the one next to it, and the third one next to it. They're all going in a hole. See him? Across on the other side. Across on the other side. He's still sitting on the wall. He might get a chance. Let's get this guy in really straight to sleep. One more eye and out the other has been the theme of the game. Jermaine just fell in this hole and it's clearly an iguana hole it goes that way and they dig under the building here what the size of this? you can see where there was a hole an iguana hole somebody filled in with a log and there's another iguana hole right here see it big iguana hole but Jermaine was just walking along this and this foot went down this hole. This wasn't even a hole, it collapsed. Like they've what? been going, no eye, 
up top of what these. Are you, what are you shooting these with? These are those Hades, JSBs. They don't open up a lot, but they seem to tear that them exit. up more and the, give us a bigger exit. That other one should be like right here. what do you say? Uh, a lesson in ballistics. <laughs> Excuse me. Here's the other one. First shot hit low on the Look chin. Second Please. shot hit in the eye. That's great. Got you iguanas. That's like super impressive. Not that big, but he is an iguana. He's on a frond facing us and going a little to the right from the bottom. One of the okay. lowest fronds. He's looking at us and trying to move. Alright. He's only like 10 yards. He's not peeking for us. Okay, see him now. There we go, he's dangling. Got a good drip. I think he'll fall for us in a second. I think he's gonna need a little motivation. A little motivation. Let me turn this way so those people don't feel like I'm shooting at their boat. Ooh, the sun's special from this angle. Yes, it is. There's our one. Oh, he just hailed on with the other foot now? Is that what just happened? That's ridiculous. Did it switch feet? Yeah. Can you reach out the pole and knock it yeah. down? I heard something hit the ground. He's like super dead. Super dead. Hey, yeah. Uh, you heard it. That's the new superpower. So this Super isn't dead. a hatchling spiny tail. Hatchlings still have green. He's showing the adult colors. But he, uh, man, they got like a smooth skin. They're really cool when they're babies. So I'd guess this guy's about six months old. Got you, baby spiny tail. So you got to see both guns in action against all the iguanas out there. And we have found that the ghost slings pellets way faster than our atomic at just such high velocities it's really awesome for distant shots and the atomic just doesn't quite cut it after about 40 45 yards and so the ghost is a bit more versatile not to mention it can change into a 22 25 30 cal all the different calibers so um we do use the atomic though and prefer it for close quarters it is um, extremely predictable and very low power this can go low power the six and below seems to be similar to the atomic on the uh, power wheel here so we are able to use it but I keep the atomic on the settings that I know really well for my holds and it feels very safe to use around million dollar boats if you know what I mean so but what we're gonna do about it though is the 177 is a little small for big iguanas they've got us a 22 coming so stay tuned we've got a 22 cow coming all the way over from england to arizona to south florida